this is just going to be a super quick introduction by me to sustain. What is sustain? Um, by the way, Chris, it was great to see you. Just saying. So sustain is an organization that's basically holding space for topics like conversations around what open source sustainability means, what sustainability is. Um, open source is a super huge field and there's a lot of issues with it, right? So millions, trillions of dollars going through it and it's all run by people like me or volunteers or people sort of trying to figure out things on like their side job or people who are paid maybe one hour a week to have a package. Uh, everyone's seen this XKCD comic by Randall Monroe. Uh, about the fact that the entire internet depends on some guy in Nebraska. I like how he said some guy in Nebraska. I said Nebraska is a bad place to be. It isn't. It's great. But we all know the problem. Uh, Heartbleed was a good example of this problem um, where everything was depending on these two people who worked in the basement in Germany, basically running OpenSSL. And then it broke one day and they're like, oh no, the world is going to fail. Um, and this is a real problem, right? We have our dependencies are not well shored up uh, and it's hard. How do we solve who builds everything? There's other things as well, right? So this is a maintainer, Dominic Tarr, very popular JavaScript guy. And um, he created the package for fun, uh, left pad, and then realized that you get nothing from maintaining a popular package. Once you write the code, then all these people have these huge expectations. And this is really, really hard to deal with, right? It's really hard to be like, ah, I just made this thing and now people are demanding me to fix the thing that broke the internet. Ugh. Kind of sucks. Uh, other issues with open source. Uh, maintainers burn out. They don't want to do it anymore. There's a lack of diversity. A lot of white cis cishet male dudes from America, speaking as one. A lot of corporate exploitation where people come in and take a lot of stuff and don't give back. A lot of open source where people say, oh, yeah, it's kind of open source, but it isn't. And there's license stuff that's kind of hard. It's really hard to do governance in open source projects because most people who run open source are coders and may not know how to collaboratively build together. Um, it's really hard to integrate designers or uh, marketers or advertisers or anyone who isn't a coder in open source and there's language barriers and there's ethical issues um, and then giving back is really really hard there's all sorts of stuff that's a problem so a few years ago there was a discussion about this on twitter and justin dorfman said you know it'd be cool to have an unconference to talk about it and then pm engineer from open collective was like yeah let's do it and then gregor martinez who is awesome was like yeah i'm in and so a few months later we had sustain this was the first conference talking about all these issues together and how do we solve them? How do we make it better for maintainers, for, for funders, for the whole community at large? And then the next year we had it again. So this was in London, it was pretty sweet. We put a green filter on everything for no reason. Maybe that's just this photo. And then we had it again last year in Brussels. This was right pre-pandemic, super fun to be able to go to Belgium and see all this great people all talking about sustain. And then we had some more, right? So we had uh, some stuff in Boulder. We had a thing uh, in Lagos where we had developers basically hold events in, under the sustained branch and talk about the whole issue. Obviously, we can't do that anymore because COVID's kind of really tough. So it's hard to have the sort of events that we had. So instead, what we've been doing this year is focusing a lot on our working groups where these are just ad hoc, you know, sort of acephalous. If you want to talk about something with someone else and it's related to sustain, we will hold space for you to do that. We'll run a Zoom meeting. We'll get people who are interested. We'll talk about it. So these are some of our working groups. They're not all of them. Um, super, super fun to see people working on all these different issues together. We also now have podcasts where we talk about sustain. I just hosted it an hour ago for the main sustain one. There's also impactful, uh, no, sustainable open source design, talking about design and sustain and how do you get designers involved. Then there's an ethics and open source podcast. We just which is together with Ethical Source. Coraline gave a talk a bit earlier. Um, we're going to have more there. And if you have guests for any of these or you want to be on the show, please get in touch. So these are things that Sustain is doing now to sort of raise level of awareness about what, what's wrong with open source and how can we fix it. Another thing we're doing at the moment is fundoss.org. Fundoss.org is a new fund with $75,000 already in it, um, which is a matching fund to give back to developers using this really cool algorithm called Quadratic Funding developed by Vitalik uh, from the Ethereum space. Highly suggest you check out fundoss.org. That launched yesterday. Um, Sustain is giving money towards that. Thanks again to a really wonderful grant that was given to us by the Sloan Foundation. We have some funds to give out and support all these different things. Um, we have a lot of supporters. They're one of them. And it's just so cool to see all these things happening. If you want to get involved, please do. There's all sorts of things you can join in. Sustain is just basically a community of people dedicated to figuring out how do we fix the problem. I have five seconds left. Sorry for talking so fast, everyone. Thank you.